Next, the keyboard and a technology we call QuickType. Oh. <laughs> so prior to iPhone, this was the state of the art in smartphone typing. But iPhone changed all of that with the introduction of touch. And we've been able to do so much more, like access to special characters or alternate character sets, special keyboard layouts, even handwriting and dictation. But underlying it all have been the language models under autocorrect. Well, now, in iOS 8, QuickType supports predictive typing suggestions. So as you type, you get suggestions for the next words you might want to type, and you can tap things out faster than ever before. And it's incredibly smart. So it's context sensitive. For instance, in messages, if someone asks you, do you want to go for dinner or a movie? It's going to suggest dinner or a movie. <laughs> and it's personalized. It learns how you type to different people in different apps. So maybe you're communicating with a coworker, and it's going to say, well, the meeting was canceled, rescheduled, moved. These are kind of uh, formal terms. But now if you're communicating with someone else where you have a different communication style, you might get the meeting was epic, awesome, or a snoozer, because it learns how you type. And when it does, it does so in a way that's always protecting your privacy. All that learning is done local to the device, and none of your keystrokes leave the device. Now, QuickType has great language models for all of these languages. So I think we're all going to be typing a whole lot faster.